welcome back to my channel this is Laura I'm coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul but before we get into that I'd like to again thank the ladies that joined me in the collaboration which is Anna at only in my dreams K is for Karen and Peyton Rose it was so much fun ladies to do that with y'all and thank you for cooperating and show that we can empower each other and help each other grow here on YouTube so again thank you for that and if you haven't watched that video I'm gonna link it for you right here go check it out if you are new here welcome I sure would appreciate it if you considered hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and you will never miss out on an episode okay guys let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I'm gonna show y'all is some food items so I can get some of this stuff into the refrigerator I got these hamburger buns these are not new to the Dollar Tree but they were just putting them out when I got there so I decided to go ahead and pick some up and you get eight hamburger buns 20 ounces so it's one pound four ounces pretty good deal I think for a dollar and they are fresh you can tell that they are fresh another thing that I was very excited to find that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree before is this nature's green Hawaiian dinner rolls and you get six rolls now I have never seen these before they are 8.5 ounces I know that they do sell these at the grocery store in much bigger packages but you know I'm a small family here I don't need all those buns and I really don't like to freeze them so for me, this is a perfect size and you only spend a dollar. If anybody has tried these out, let us know in the comments if they are good. I'm hoping they are. They're very, very soft. This was another thing that they had just put out a new box of. I had been looking for these Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Soft Baked Breakfast Bars. These are strawberry. It is a total of 10.4 ounces, which is a good deal. You get eight bars, 1.3 ounces each. So I picked these up. And I have tried these, they are very good and they do fill you up for breakfast. I did have one of these with a cup of coffee and they were pretty nice. I went through the candy aisle and I did find the Sugar Free Werther's Original Sugar Free 1.46 ounces of Caramel Hard Candy. Now you don't get a whole bunch but it's because it's sugar free. And I have tried these before, they are really really good. And then by, by the Coastal Bay Confections I did find the Hard Candy in Assorted Fruit Flavors, again sugar free and you get 3 ounces of candy which is pretty good I thought. And you do get assorted flavors, I don't see where it says the flavors but I'm going to try them and let y'all know if they are good. Okay now new to me are these sparkling waters these are ice they are called sparkling ice this one is peach nectarine zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants you get 17 ounces and the one in my hand is orange mango which sounds delicious and it does state that they are zero sugar so I picked up one of each they are new to my Dollar Tree so I'm gonna give them a try if you've tried them let us know if they are good okay we're gonna jump into the beauty and bath section I didn't get too much of that stuff this time guys there really wasn't anything new in my Dollar Tree so I did pick up a new loofah you know or some of you know that I'm doing a little bit of remodeling I can't find anything everything is packed away so I'm having to go luckily I have a Dollar Tree just pick up a brand new one so yeah that was it for this okay I did pick up some more close-up precision floss picks this is a bonus pack you get 50 plus 10 extra count so you get a total of 50 flossers I guess so there was 40 in here so I did pick up the close-up ones which are really good I have tried these before and then I picked up this is new to my Dollar Tree the charcoal infused RM oral charcoal flossers you get a 50 count it says new 50 count This is something that is um, actually new to me period this is a moisture eliminator it says traps excess moisture eliminates tough odors and prevents water damage and it is a 9.8 ounce container I picked up two of these to go into my bathrooms 
So I've never used a product like this before, but I have heard that they are very good for that use. So let us know in the comments if you do use these and if they work. How often do you replace them and things like that. Okay, in the Scrub Buddies, you know, I like the Scrub Buddies brand. There are some things that I find that are just phenomenal. And then there's other things that are just total flops. But this one is a silicone scrubber, multi-surface, multi-purpose cleansing brush by Scrub Buddies and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see the little bristles that it has. I hope you can see that. Anyway, I'm sure this is good for Teflon skillets and uh, things like that. Maybe if you have a flat top cooktop, this might be good, that won't scratch it. So I'm gonna give this a try, you know, for different items and let y'all know if, it's, if it works pretty good. This is a new item that I was excited to find, is a bottle shaker. It says BPA free and it holds up to 27 ounces. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a rattle. And you can actually see the little ball down here. This works really great for infused water. If you put some cucumber, lemon, lime, or fruit, and you shake it up just a little bit, give it some flavor to your water, this will work really well. So I was real happy to find this. In the party section, I had to pick up some more forks. These are the heavy duty plastic 48 forks. I don't think this is new, but I've been going through them like crazy right now that all my dishes are put away. So I'm having to use disposable forks. And on that note, I picked up two of the foam plates. They're 14 pieces. And the reason I picked these up, guys, is because these are very large. Okay, these are very large. I have never seen these before at the Dollar Tree. I do see the smaller ones, but I've never seen these. I mean, I could have just overlooked them, but I have never seen them and they, they feel like if they're pretty sturdy. So I, I picked up two packages of these. Okay, not new. But I finally got them at my Dollar Tree. We had not received any in this area. And these are the little shelves. They are floating shelves. I picked up five of them. They did have a whole bunch. They seem like they're pretty sturdy. So if you haven't tried these, you know, and they have the metal hookups in the back. And that's what I liked about them. It doesn't seem like they're going to you know just fall apart and it does come with the hardware with the anchors and the screws and I thought that was pretty good for one dollar I mean and if you don't like the color spray paint them for me this is gonna be the actual color I'm doing in my office I'm doing a black and white and gray theme so this is gonna work out really well for me so I picked up five of these and there was a whole bunch in but we didn't see the white ones so just the black ones just a few more items guys, but by the way, if you are the one that gives my videos a thumbs up every time, I really do appreciate it. That really helps me out here on the channel. Thank you. Okay, I picked up some uh, suction cups from the Toolbench Hardware. You get nine pieces. And I am actually gonna use these in my new shower stalls to hang the squeegee and you know maybe the razor or whatever i know everybody knows catherine from do it on a dime she just rants and raves about these that they work really well and she uses them all over her home so if catherine says they're good they're good so i picked up a pack we're coming pretty close to the end of the video guys thanks for sticking with me only two things in the the back to school section i don't have any use for back to school stuff but i do take advantage to stock up my office supplies during that time i found these inked optimus fine point felt tip pens in pink and lavender i thought they were pretty good i don't know how they write but i guess we're gonna give it a try let's go ahead and open it and see what they how they write sometimes you pick up pens at the Dollar Tree and they just go straight into the garbage, unfortunately. Okay, let's pick up this lavender one. This one seems really pretty. Oh, it really is a fine, fine point. Okay, let's see if I can... Boy, this is a really, really fine point tip. I really like it. It's kind of light, but I do like it for uh, journaling and, and stuff like that. So I think these are going to work out fine. The last couple of items, I saw this ruler. It's pretty large. I hope you can see it. The numbers are really large and that's why I got it. You know, getting older is not for sissies, I'll tell you. I really do need larger numbers on my rulers and stuff, so this is really going to come in handy for me. The last item of this haul, but not the least or less impressive. Look at these bags, guys. These mesh bags. 
I have never seen these before. Uh, let's see how big they are at the bottom. They have a good size. Let's take the tag off. I don't like to just rip the tags off because sometimes you end up tearing the bags. That's the only bad part is sometimes they put it right on the fabric. Okay, let's see. It seems pretty sturdy. Okay, the handles are not too long. Look at that. Pretty nice. Great to go to the pool, to the beach. You can even use these for groceries if you're running little errands. You know, you want to take your own bag. These are great. Great size, too. Seems like this is going to hold a lot of stuff. And I like that the handles are, are sewn into the bag right here so that they don't just rip off from the top. That is a good... This seems like a really well-made bag. I really like that. And that, my people, is the last item for this Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget, big thumbs up. Really helps us out on the channel. Go and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And don't forget my cooking videos. I had one up Sunday, so go take a look. I'll link it for you right up here. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.